Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're taking a look at a game called Stickers, which I don't think you would even know as a game. If you looked at it, you think it's just a box of stickers, which it is. There's also cards. This is a legacy game, a legacy game at, that is a card style game that once it's finished, you can keep playing it forever. For real, it is a card game that you're going to be putting stickers on cards. I don't want to spoil you too much on how the game evolved, although I will a little bit because it's hard to show you this game without showing some of what changed about it. But here's how you play it. This game comes with a deck of cards that are made up of different factions of different creatures. You're going to randomly put these factions here. You have legendary, mythic, rare, and common. This kind of is, you know, basically how you're basically like a TCG, a trading card game aspect. Player is going to start with a handful of six cards. One player goes first, and on your turn, the first thing you do is you take any card from the six that are out here and add it to your hand. You then play all as many cards of one kind as you want to play. So maybe I'll play these two magic bunnies. Maybe I'll play the Geekasar here. Whatever I might want to play. If you play cards that have a special ability at the bottom, this one here, for example, lets you draw a card from the deck and play it in front of you and get whatever it says. Uh, some let you ask someone a question if they have a card in their hand and they have to give it to you. And there will be more things you'll discover as the game goes by. You also get a special ability based on the number of cards you play. If you play one card, you can play another. If you play two of the same card, you can take two cards from the middle, add them to your hand. If you play three, you can switch the value of two of these different animals, going up a level for one, going down a level for another. You'll keep going until the deck runs out and players, there'll be some extra cards set aside for players to grab. At that point, players are going to score and you're just going to see who has the most of the legendary gets a certain number of points and second most gets a certain number of points of all the different levels. You'll add that plus all the stars that are on each of these are going to score a point for you each and whoever has most points wins. Now, as after the game is over, you're going to open a pack. There are some regular packs of cards here. These get opened after many of the different games. There's going to be sort of a, a thing here, how many games are going to be. And some of them will add new rules and things to the games. But some of them are just random. They'll add some cosmetic stickers that you can stick on the different creatures. You can see, you know, sometimes that's been done. This one's wearing a pair of glasses. But also you'll add stars to some of the creatures in front of you. So creatures might go from one star to two stars or two to three or from zero to one. And other stickers and things will change the game. I'm trying to show as much stuff here that has not been heavily modified. A good chunk of this deck here has been modified and changed. Anyway, you just play after these games, and after the final game, you can keep playing over and over and over again. Alrighty, did you like the components and cuteness of the animals? I thought they were adorable. Yeah. Like, they, they all are super unique, and nobody ever called them by their actual names. Well, or at the very least, when we did, it was switched like every well, five to seconds. To be fair, the names were really hard to remember. No, it's we chocolate, <laughs> chocolate koala, vampire pig, um, M magic bunny. Yeah, whatever. Um, but so a lot of the stickers in this game are just cosmetic stickers, things you put on to make stuff look more fun. Did yeah. you like that? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe if I actually got the chance to do it. <laughs> you like won fun. a game. Ruby won like four. <laughs> yeah. And so did Jimmy. Uh, so, so there's a lot of cosmetic stickers, but it is it's fun to do that. I will say the stickers do make it hard to shuffle. I have to do the kind of lay them out shuffle because they do catch as you're shuffling the cards. So that's kind of a thing. Um, but let's talk about the gameplay itself. So in this game, you're basically, you, you take a card, you play some cards, you draw some cards. That sounds boring. It's not. Why? Because, uh, like, the abilities uh, are really nice, especially when you get to upgrade them. Uh, it's really funny, like, just uh, taking the card somebody else wants. 
and I don't know. There's Especially when they make it painfully obvious what card they wanted. Jimmy. <laughs> there's a lot of bitterness here. And somehow Jimmy won four times. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, because the game has strategy. You want to take animals that have or cards that have a lot of stars on them, but you also want to take control of the groups of animals that are going to go that that are, have a, worth a lot of points. Actually, one thing you learn about the game is you just want control of animals. Period. You don't need. Yeah, like it's it gets to the point where you're like, oh, everything I have is like really low down. Well, like in the last game we played, I controlled the top and the second highest, and I still came in third place, not last. I beat. Wait, maybe I did come in last. You know, that's not the point. <laughs> um, but it. And the rules changes. What did you think about that? So the rule, the rules of the game change every three games slightly. Um, I I like that particular effect. It like added more to the game, and the rules weren't too complicated to like fully understand. I mean, yeah, we had to be briefed over it a few times because well, I just kind of forgot about what each thing meant. But it wasn't too difficult. Although having a sheet that would tell us what each stuff did would have been helpful. Well, we did have that cardboard. Someone put the stickers on it poorly. That could have been anybody. Anyways, what, what was the question you said? <laughs> the question is, what did you think of all the rules changes? Oh, that was nice. It, especially the rule change where you didn't read the... Uh, the the rules correctly? Cards after the game. My one the rule complaint. Book. My one number one complaint. She... Was there, not the actually a complaint. The rule about... Uh, Having six cards at the end of the turn, we didn't follow that for like the first two three was games or something. Stuck with yeah. like one card in my hand for the majority <laughs> of the game. All right, well I fixed that and we started playing correctly, um, going into it. Uh, the games are not very long. I would say they're twenty minutes, maybe thirty depending minutes, on depending on how long certain player is on their turns. Uh, you guys are pretty pretty hard on people who take a long time on their turns. Harder We're not than talking I about am. him, by the way. We're talking about Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy had a good time. Jimmy would give this game a 10 out of 10. Yeah, he probably would. Uh, so, again, it's pretty easy to play. It plays pretty smoothly, plays pretty quickly. And the final games that you're playing aren't that different from the first game. Yeah. It's going to give you something to change each game, whether it's just some cosmetic stickers and adding a couple stars to the cards. But it also is going to change rules, but not dramatically. So that means the base game needs to be fun enough. And because we're going to play it a lot. And we did play it a lot. Yeah. So what's your final thoughts on the game here? Well, I really liked the art. I think it was really adorable. And I liked how you could, um, well, I just liked how all the animals looked. And they're all unique little designs. Uh, I really liked the gameplay. I thought it was really interesting being able to, like, build up a bunch of, like rows of animals, especially when I only ever focused on one row of animals, which probably is corgis. why I only won once. Yeah, someone had an unnatural fascination with the corgis. I was still mad that Ruby took the last corgi. Anyway, uh, I would probably give that, this game a 7.5. 7.5? 7. 7. All right. I also really like this game. I think it's a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of variety, but also it's a very simple card game. It's play cards, collect them. You have to try to figure out, should I play... Single cards, which lets me play more cards. Do, um, do I want to draw more cards? Do I want to, or very importantly, do I want to shift, you know, the who's the highest on the list? That's a pretty big deal, and it's a lot of fun. Very interactive. I'm taking things other people want. There's even more interaction changes as the game goes by. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with both of their points. The gameplay is really fun. The character designs are neat. The special abilities are unique. Uh... This is one of the. This is probably one of the most fun games I played in a while, or at least ones that I want to replay a lot. Uh, so, seven and a half. Really? <laughs> the the way you wanted to play it, I figured you'd give it a ten or something. No. Well, it, it's a good game. I don't know. It's I don't know. Not for everybody, because it does. It, there is a lot of aspects where it's like really lucky. Especially considering Jimmy won four times. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, there you go. If you have a family, I think this is a fantastic family game for them. That's Stickers. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And uh, one of us wins more than the rest of us. <laughs>